How impressive was this? Because on this show, we've mentioned it. MJ, you know, he had not taken a stand in the past, but now he's making a stand and he's committing this money. What does it say to you? I think Mike is starting to realize, Skip, he could have and he should have done more while he was playing. Mm -hmm. I'm a firm believer that it's never too late to do the right thing. Yeah. This is the right thing. And he released a statement the other day, Skip, but this is the one that got me. He says, we've been beaten down as African-American for so many years, Skip. It sucks your soul. You can't accept it anymore. This is a tipping point. We need to make a stand. We need, <clears throat> we need got to get to a better uh, as a society regarding race. Face up to your demons, extend a hand, understand uh, the in, uh, inequalities. That was to the Charlotte Observer. Yeah. Scale. Mm -hmm. Hey, Tiger, you hear that statement? Mm. Not that bull job you put out. That's a statement. Skip Michael Jordan says, you know what? I must be not only morally conscious, I got to be socially conscious. Skip, as I mentioned earlier, Skip, I can feel the pain in which he's talking. He's like, I'm Michael Jordan. I get it. Ain't nobody, I'm good. But no, what I'm seeing, Skip, how can you not, Skip, how can you not be touched if you did not see George Floyd dying from a live TV? How? Mm -hmm. Can you not be? And for, for, for Mike to take that stand, like I said, yes, he knows there were times, there were issues in 1988, uh, the Rodney King, there have been times that he could have spoken up. He could have, that's, yeah, he's always been Michael Jordan. He just didn't become this mythical, this, this mythical figure. He's always been that. And so when these things were going on in 88, he was that guy then. He won the MVP, Defensive Player of the Year, Skip. He was that guy. In 92, he was still, he was that guy. So he's always had an opportunity. And I think now he's realizing I should have done more. I should have done more. But no, no more. I'm a starter. I'm not a bench player. I'm not coming off the bench. I'm not going to sit back and let everybody else address it. Yep. No. I'm going to address this not only with my words, but with my money. Skip, this was this is this is unbelievable. I'm so proud of Mike, and I know people like what well, he should, what he should have done, what he could have done is neither here nor there. What is he doing now? And this was a strong, passionate statement mm -hmm. from this man, and this is weighing heavily on his heart. Okay, so I will definitely give you better late than never. This is the first time in his 57-year life that he has taken this kind of stand and put this kind of wherewithal behind mm -hmm. the stand. $100 yeah. million dollars from him and his brand, Jordan Brand. Yes. Okay. For four years, we've fought back and forth about who's the GOAT. And every time you bring up LeBron and even put him in the same conversation with Michael Jeffrey Jordan, I say, that's blasphemy. <laughs> but every time we talk about off the court, I say it's blasphemy to put Michael in the same conversation with LeBron. Yep. What I believe just happened was, through all the airing of The Last Dance, Michael took some heat mm -hmm. because it came clear the way he treated his teammates, number one. Remember, he prefaced the, the first episode by saying on Good Morning America, I'm afraid I might come across as a horrible person, yes. right? Yes. And he also started taking heat because it came clear he's never taken a stance on any social justice issue. Correct. He, he avoided. I covered him. He scrupulously avoided it. And at one point told me, I, I just don't even know enough to know. You right. know, like, I, I don't get it. I don't follow it. I don't know politics. I don't really. I'm, I'm just a basketball player. Right. Okay. So he's sort of falling into the shut up and dribble right. trap, right? Yes. right? He's just yes. saying, okay, I'll just shut up and dribble. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. But during the last dance, a lot of good came out, a lot of great came out, and, and some very negative came out. And I think it stung him mm -hmm. to the point it awakened some things in him. And at 57, he sat back and said, you know what? It's time. Mm -hmm. I'm going I'm to do something here. And yep. I, I told you, I know he got sick and tired of hearing LeBron's better than Jordan. Right. He might have gotten a little bit tired of hearing LeBron, I promise, you know, like, like after a while, he says, well, I'm, I'm this guy. I'm Michael Jordan. Right. I can do this, right. too. Mm -hmm. I'll go 100 million. How about that, LeBron? Right. Match that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's, again, better late than never because it's a great statement. And the, I, I circle that same statement <laughs> you read, so I don't have to reread it here. That's potent, It's man. powerful. Woo. It's powerful. That might have been the most powerful thing Michael Jordan has ever said, Skip. Yep. 
So it, I, I did read the rest of this interview to see where does the hundred million go? You're mm -hmm. pledging it to what? Yeah. And he said, we're not sure yet. Much of it to education. He, is his, let me get the other line here. He said, um, education is the best route for black people to better themselves. Well, sure, we, right. we get that. Right. But is that going to fix this problem that we're talking about? Mm -mm. No, I don't think so. No. It could help in the big picture long right. term. But, but again, $100 million to do what? I need to know specifically it's going to be dedicated to fixing what? Not sure yet because he doesn't seem sure. Well, yet. we're going to fix this. This is how we're going we're gonna to start to fix the skill. We're going right. to start to fix at the ballot box. Because what we're going to do, right. and then we're going to have people say, look, these chokeholds, mm -hmm. they, they, they're banned and they're illegal. Mm -hmm. We're going to start holding police officers accountable. Accountable. Just like yep. they found the guy that killed, uh, that killed this police officer, I think it was in St. Louis. Mm -hmm. Now, they got his mugshot. Guess what? He going to get tried. He going to jail. Yeah, okay. So enough, Skip, but I, I think what's going to have to happen, Skip, they're going have to have to do something with this qualified immunity. Okay. Because what happens is that the police officers, they get certain immunities because of their job. And it, it gives them a lot of the benefit of the doubt a threat perceived or imagined. That's too broad, Skip. That's too broad. I shouldn't be able to, I mean, just imagine if you go in the grocery store and somebody like, hmm, I think you about to do something to me. And you do something to them. Well, I, I just felt like he was going, that's what, that's what a police officer has. Yep. That's too broad, Skip. That's too broad. Okay, I got you. So are you okay with 100 million, not sure where you're going to earmark it? For? Well, well, Skip, I think when you give that kind of money, I don't, because I think, at the time, Skip, he's so emotional. He's so, like, raw, so so passionate. Like, I'm giving $100 million. And then at the process of giving $100 million, $10, uh, $10 million a year, we'll, 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 find, we'll find worthy causes mm -hmm. okay. that we can disseminate this money to and we can start the process. But you better start with the mayor, local level, Skip, putting people, uh, the mayors and councilmen mm -hmm. in to put rules and regulation to hold these police okay. departments accountable. I was much more impressed by the words than the deed in this case. Oh, the yeah. The deed's $100 million. Yeah, yeah. But what have we seen for, what, 10 days? It seems like every CEO in America, every president of every big company has made a statement, Black Lives Matter. You know, we've, we've heard it from everybody because they all feel like they have to get on board yep. here or they will look like, why, why were you silent, right? Right, right. Well, so forgive me for being a little skeptical, but $100 million, I, I get it. It's great. But I like the words better than the $100 million. Right. The $100 million, you could argue, is to help protect your business a right. little bit. Right. Like you got, and it took all the way until this past Friday right. for this to come out. Okay, better late than never. Mm -hmm. But remember, George Floyd happened on Memorial Day. 25th. Yep. So it was... It, two it, weeks. It, it was all, and now it's two weeks today, but Friday was getting close right. to two weeks before this came but Skip, out. He, he's been more. Uh, he gave $5 million a couple of years ago. He gave money to, uh, I think, Wilmington. They was affected yep. by the hurricane. So he's been, he's been more uh, uh, generous uh, mm -hmm. of his giving. But uh, these, I think, Skip, these are the issues that people want to hear Michael Jordan speak on. Yes. Bro, you black. I don't know if you noticed it. <laughs> but you, you black. Yeah. And although, and, and we need you to have empathy for men that are not. Because, Skip, a lot of times that we get, we get black people and you be, well, I made it, so can you. And, and that's not always the case. Everybody is not afforded those opportunities. And if we talked about on Friday, Skip, I understand all these major corporations saying this and that. I want to see some teeth in this. Uh -huh. I want to see some people on the board and some black people. Yep. I want to see some, uh, some, mm -hmm. some people, some people of color. I want to see some diversity in the hiring practices. Yep. Then I'll believe that what you're saying is to be true. But you just, it's convenient right now, Skip. You almost got to do this. Uh, it's not convenient. You have to. You, you, exactly. You, you get swept up in it or you're going to get run over by it. And now, Skip, if you don't, Skip, yep. the way this thing is, people almost put you out of business. They're mm -hmm. like, oh, let, don't shop with them. Mm -hmm. The black lives don't matter. And they don't care about systemic racism. Mm -hmm. And then, boom, it catches on. Skip, these people in the street. Yep. You know what? But it's a perfect storm, Skip. Mm -hmm. You know what happened? You had COVID. People have been sh mm -hmm. in, sheltered in place, and they want a reason to be out. And they said, oh, this is a work. Oh, we here. We ain't we're going here. nowhere. And it's, it's summertime. It's a work. Yeah. We ain't going nowhere, Skip. Go. Guess what? Yep. They're the they still going on today, Skip. Mm -hmm. It's two still weeks. Going. Yep. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.